Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We are continuing our taxation tour around here trying to earn money. It has been suggested that what we can do with the money is potentially buy the special building which we currently have sitting in Ossal. It seems like an idea, I'm not completely against it, so potentially we'll do that. Beyond that, um, there's not a lot that we're doing. We have to marry off our daughter here, which seems like something that we could do. Her stats are pretty good, and she would be a good heir. I think we tried to do something like that last time, and it wasn't, um, yeah, and it didn't work. So, we'll maybe leave trying to switch her heir for a bit, but maybe it's time to uh, think about rigging some elections or trying to figure out how we can get more score in them, because we'd very much like to pick our heir. It's one of the benefits of elective, and it's something that we're not yet being able to do, so we might have a look into that. Also, wait a second. Oh, I just noticed, yeah, you do have a different religion. An unreformed Siberian faith. Oh, so we must have got far enough over here that we could access it. That's the wrong one. Is it this one? Yeah. So because we've come all the way over here, now we have people from that faith in our realm. Interesting. Uh, anyway, right. You, let's have a look here. We're going to look for people who are... Uh, positively inheritable traits. Then let's see what we got. So uh, we could go with, Hi with Henrik here. I'm looking for anybody who. Well, actually, you know what I can do? I can use a search because I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for anyone who's a genius. Do we have a genius? We do. Oh, okay. Um, he would be the best genius. I think this is fine. Yeah. This seems like a good marriage. Let's do that. You will matrilineally marry that guy. Wonderful. Right, and now we're going to unpause, I think, and just let our tour continue. So, off down here. I think we're going down here purely to gain some experience, and then we'll head back. You never eat foreign food, because there's a chance you become ill, so there's no reason to choose that option. Swedish man, or Swedish men. I've seen the world and beheld as many wonders in my travels, but never have beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in Hammerkinda. Truly, Swedish men are cut above the rest. Are puff, cut above all rest. The rest. Uh, one particularly fascinating specimen that has taken my eye of late is a peasant man by the name of George. He has a lot of intrigue, like an absurdly high amount of intrigue. But uh, I don't think he's good enough to bring in here. We are gonna let him go. Yeah, he, he also doesn't like us, so he, him being our concubine does not sound good. Um, okay, you found somebody else that you would be like to be with. Arnold. Um, I can recruit Arnold to my court. I'd rather not. I think what I'm going to say is no to that one there. Mutual understanding. We are now friends with this dude. Wonderful. Uh, why don't you be invited to our court? You don't want to be invited to our court. Because you're on the council. I see, because he's now on the council, we can't invite him. Even though his opinion of us is 100. He wasn't on the council previously, though, from my understanding. Okay. Let's try and find somebody else to befriend. Um, there was a suggestion that befriending knights maybe is a bad long-term decision. Because if we befriend knights and we lose a battle, suddenly you, you lose a ton of knights and you gain a bunch of stress. Which would not be good, but... Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, why do you have... I'm wondering what this is, the, what the default search is here, as in, or the default ranking is here. Because apparently it's sorted by rank, but this seems a little odd. Anyway, uh, I, want, I just want to see who has the highest... Oh, we also want somebody who is not a ruler. Not a ruler. Who has the highest learning? You. In the entire game, you have the highest ruler who, from people who are... Sorry, you have the highest learning from people who are not a ruler. Okay. Um, well, I don't think we're going to be able to befriend you before you die. It's going to go down here a little bit. How about this guy? Um, you want to join my, you're too far away. Okay. Uh, in CK, oh, there we go. No, never mind. I was going to say in CK2, there was an option to do a diplomatic range. There was also an option in this game on this menu. Okay, so we only want people who are within our range. How about this guy? I'm, I'm generally looking for people who are a little bit younger. In their 30s is fine. I'm just seeing who would join us. Like, how far away are you? You're negative 115. You're probably not going to join. How about this guy? 
Would you like to join me? Negative 50. He would join us. Okay. Uh, we can maybe try and get this guy with high learning into our core. I just chose a stat. That's all, all I was choosing here. Let's, um... Let's befriend him. We're not even going to learn his language first. We're just going to befriend him right right up, straight straight away. We'll see how that goes. Right. Carrying on. This is fine. Traveling through these sometimes harsh environments has had invigorating effects at least my state of mind and vigor. As I glance over at Tomasa, however, she does not appear to be doing quite as good. Her movement is labored, her breathing heavy, and spontaneous bursts of coughing ripple through her body. When say I think I know a cure, I will cure you. We we have cured her. Fantastic. Got more martial lifestyle experience for hopping down there. Wonderful. Snowbound. It's been snowing for days now. The road ahead appears completely impassable. However, as I look ahead, I see a small group of people approaching us fast across the snowdrifts. Soon a man stands before me and speaks with a wide grin. You seem to be in quite a predicament, but fear not, for a fair price will return you to your travels. Um, We'll manage on our own. I'm not worried about it. Hey, we actually got a... Uh, not that one. That was nice, though. We get the extra experience. We actually got the good option from that, which said that we... Um, yeah, we didn't waste any time. So, good. And now we're a traveler, so we get extra uh, diplomacy as well. The diplomacy stat looks pretty good now. Hey, more martial lifestyle experience. You love to see it. You can pardon our queen for being a dynastic kinslayer. Another one, huh? What have you been doing? You executed Dan? That would do it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to pardon you for that one. I think I think I can pardon you for that. There we go. Carrying on. All the way over here and to the next location. Fortified knowledge. The high altitude and brisk air of Ovra Dalarna has a very refreshing quality as we traverse the local hill fort. The soldiers in this valley or in the valley below appear to be practicing some rare type of training technique I haven't seen before. I move in closer, failing to restrain my curiosity. While doing so, I'm approached by the local captain, Gudroth. Uh, would you like to join in, my lady? I'm always up for a challenge. We can potentially get Rough Terrain Expert or Reckless. Uh, we can get Drifa to get those, or we can say we're not worried. By the way, somebody was saying that we have too many people named Drifa, Cracker, all that sort of stuff. I think the problem is less that we have so many people named that. They were like, so a way of making there be more names. I think there is, but there is also a waiting, I believe, to have children uh, to have, and Gurley, I think, was the other one they were saying, children to have the names of their parents and grandparents. There's a there's a waiting for that. So because we have generations where we have very similar names in, like, one generation, then the next generation, they inherit their grandparents and parents' name, and the generation after that, they do the same thing, so they end up being named much the same things as you go down. So, effectively, if we want to change what names are being used, we have to simply change the name of the children when it pops up. That's basically the way we need to do it, I think. Uh, rough Terrain Expert seems pretty good. I'll have that. Yeah, you don't usually get those traits, so it's nice to have them. Uh, as in, you don't usually just get an event saying, hey, here's a free trait. Uh, well, it wasn't free. We had to pay money, but you get what I'm saying. Here, here's a trait... Um, which you don't have to do any work for. Okay, you won against the Tyranny War. You won against the Holy War. Okay, cool. Right, over here. We've arrived! Wonderful! Um, he receives me with all requisite deference. That's good. We lose stress. Actually, we're going to lose stress from this event starting. So, let's see here. 50 from you. Wonderful. Back in here. And now I'll take the stress loss. Wonderful. So now we're back to zero. So now I can once again go in here and I can be like, I'm going to take 15 from you. Wonderful. Right, and then back into here. Okay. Your neighbor has uh, won against somebody in a holy war. That's fine. It's the Byzantines winning. Got more money there. 
I've enjoying, been enjoying my time here, but can I help but notice that I've feasted in extravagance every day while I've been here? Perhaps the old Bjorg of Norland is significantly more wealthy than I had initially imagined. If my pondering proves true, it would mean the Jarl owes me far more gold than she has been paying thus far, I could demand an extraction. Um, I'll let it go. That's fine. We'll gain a hook on her. Uh, do you want to do anything? Am I able to change her contract? I probably have already changed it looking at her age. Yeah, I've already changed it. I could use it to take money off of her. If she has any, she has a little bit. Where are we? It's in here. Demand payment. Yeah, we could take 50 from her. That's fine. Just immediately take 50. Unexpected wake up call. I emerged from my slumber after another peaceful night staying with Jarl Bjorg of Norland. As I regain my consciousness, I feel something heavy beside me that wasn't there before. I feel the familiar touch of a man lighting his finger inquisitively across my breast. This gift is certainly unexpected, but it's really such a ple but is it really such a pleasant thing to wake up to? We can say yes, and we lay with Folky. Okay, or no. I'm gonna say no to that one there. That's fine. We got some more money. Unfamiliar taste. Uh, we will eat the local food here because we don't want to uh, give her a hook on us. A pint or two. This is the drinking one. We just say, well done. Great. We love it. We got more money just for being here. Uh, that's okay. Right. Unpause. A little snooping. Oh, my wise and kind empress, these walls talk. What terrible things they say. I know so much, too much, I think, some days. Your Bjorg of Norland would never forgive you if, if... Forgive me if I told you. So we can learn a Freyr's non-believer secret. I'm just going to say I don't care. Right, give me your tribute. Thank you. Um... I eat at the dinner table, or I sit at the dinner table awaiting my dessert. When it finally arrives, I can scarcely contain my elation. A pious confection in the shape of an elk is slid over to me in an ornate plate. The thing is so intricately uh, decorated that it is as if Uko himself has made it just for me. Of course I love it, but the only question is, how can I best show my appreciation? We become friends, or I owe you one. We will become friends. I will not owe you one. Uh, that is fine. And now we can actually go in here and we can be like, hey, why don't... Who's closest to the actual amount that they can give me? You? You give me 10. Wonderful. So we could start building an Osel already. You know what? Sure, I'll build an Osel already. Also, I just remembered. Yeah, this is a special building as well. We have the Grand Temple. I completely forgot about these, but that's the reason we wanted the holy sites in the first place. It's because the Grand Temple gives you a ton of bonuses. Gonna be great. But I'll build the new building first because we can. But 900 gold building that grand temple actually makes a lot of sense as well on that holding. It makes it a very, very good holding. Lots of increased holding taxes. Person is inspired. You want to go to the step and you're legendary. Eh, you probably should let you go, but that's fine. Right. Uh, let's begin. My stress has gone down to zero. For these, we can isolate our capital. Okay, well, I mean, it's not quite zero, but, you know, it's near enough. Where's the disease? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. It's uh, known as not near us. Okay, oh, oh yeah, back in here. Um, We are not going to eat the weird food. We're going to say thank you for the drink. That's fine. Anything new in here? Nothing we need to worry about. Carrying on. People became rivals. Again, don't need to worry about that. Local delicacy. Uh, we don't eat it. Uh, weird elk food. We say, hey, sure, let's be friends. And then we say, hey, give me your money. This guy is dying. We save his life. And yes, give me my money. Thank you. Now we have to choose what we're doing with this guy. We can say, be my friend, or uh, you owe me your life. I'm going to take the hook because I don't need his friendship. Cool. Hey, I became friends with this random dude. Want to join my court? Of course you do. Wonderful. Uh, diplomacy perk. We'll take groom to rule. Gives all of our children extra stats, which is just naturally a good thing. 
I mean, it's not like the stats that we've been given have been, like, incredible, but, you know, they're all higher than they were. Right, uh, let's go back in here for a second. You, uh, convert to my religion. You will convert. Wonderful, he's terrified of us. Okay. Then, um... Find you somebody to marry with an inheritable trait. Let's see here. How about this person? That seems like a good choice. Gets us robust into the court. Okay, and then the other thing is he's now very good. I just want to see if there's anything in here that we think he might be able to do. Uh, maybe this? He's only average. Yeah, his high learning is like carrying him a long way, but we need something more for that one. Yeah, okay. Well, we have him. He's just somebody else to have in our court right now, basically. That's fine. Probably need to fill in some of those court positions at some point. Oh, we should find somebody else who can do something. Let's have a look for... Or... I guess do something was the wrong word. But, like, somebody else with another, um... With another good uh, stat line. I guess that was a better way of saying what I wanted to say. Oh, how about this guy? This guy's a genius, and he's got 30 intrigue. Yeah, 30 intrigue, genius, not that old. Won't be my friend. Wait, would you join my court? Yeah, 55. Yeah, so let's, let's make him our friend. That's fine. Carrying on. People are winning against wars against the tyranny. That's fine. Continue over here. The hermit. We ignore the hermits for travel speed. We're settling in. Got requisite deference, which is fine. Uh, we're going to raise our mm, stress and raise some money at the same time. Let's get 40 from you. Wonderful. We're already back up to 700 after spending all that cash. Then we're going to go back into here. We're going to take the stress loss. Then we're going to go back into here and we're going to take the 35. Wonderful. Then we're going to go back into here. And we're going to go through this. What happened to my caravan master? Uh, is he dead? Yes. Yes, he is. It just hadn't popped up yet. He is dead. Oh. Well, um... Marwa is excellent. Uh, I'll take Marwa then. My court physician. Sure, if you're excellent, you're excellent. Well, we'll take Marwa. You want to choose someone from that event because I believe they don't actually join your um, they don't join your uh, trip as caravan master if you assign them outside the event, uh, or if they're not already on your trip. I should say same kind of thing. You have to save this guy's life. Okay, are you any good? No. Nope. Well, owe me your life. That's fine. You might earn money someday. You already have money. Wonderful. You'll love to see it. Okay. This person chastised my drinking. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if we get the drinking event again, I'm going to be very unhappy at you. For hypocrisy. This person is also dying. I shall save you. I will then make my uh, demands, and I'll say you owe me your life to that person. Your friend died. No. Mainly no, because now our stress is back up higher, even though we just lowered it. Okay. Life of a ruler. Tell people a war story because we want to. Wonderful. Challenge for an artifact. You would like to challenge me. No, wait, sorry. You would like to challenge... Where, where are we? Me for an artifact. Hmm. You're better than the usual ones, but I'll, I'll take the challenge. Okay, first of all, we'll do very high medium. My form was good. His stance is formidable. Strike power repost. High medium again. Mine was excellent. His was incredible. These are all bad. I think I will try and uh, tire him. My form was incredible. His is incredible. Oh, sorry. Mine was excellent. His is incredible. Strike power repost is a high medium there. And we have defeated him. Wonderful. That then gets us Aspiring Blade Master up a little bit, a little bit more fruit experience, and he is defeated. We get to keep our item. Yes, which is still the Iridescent Stone. All challengers are coming for the stone. 
Right. Oh, our, our stress is already lower. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. But, uh, not that guy. This one. Yeah, and take 10 gold off of them. Wonderful. Back in here. No, we have a thousand. What we should do is we should build uh, the Grand Temple for the taxes, the holding taxes, the development growth. All of this is great stuff. The night effectiveness. It's just a very good building to have. So we'll start that because it's going to be six years till that's done. So, you know, might as well start early. Right. And uh, now we lose our stress. You would like to challenge me to a board game? I say no because there's no punishment. This person's dying. I will save them. And I will get yet another hook on a random person. Schemes at our court. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to take 10 from her. Great. Because it's a strong hook, we actually get it back, I think, in 5. It's either 5 or 10 years. And then we can get more from them. But anyway, I will uh, do the same thing here. Give myself yet another hook. Uh, I could potentially gain a little bit of money here, but yeah, I guess there's no real purpose. Oh wait, uh, just in case we get some random stress. People have been having affairs. It's a scandal. We're shocked. I'm going to demand my tribute. Uh, this person isn't here. What, did you join a war or something? Uh, that is exactly what happened. You did join a war. Did you rearrange my journey? Or am I still going there? I am still going there. That's fine. Just wanted to make sure we weren't rearranged in where we wanted to go. Gain a little bit more money there. Wonderful. Carrying on. We're overwhelmed by stress. No, I was trying to keep my stress deliberately low, but I guess we're only just over. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take the stress hit, but that means that we probably can't get more money for a little bit. This person is now learning Norse. Okay. Cool. Neighbor lost a war. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we have lost our court physician. Why? Because you left my court. Oh. You can just do that? Okay. Um, well, I guess I need a court physician then. I will ask the uh, court physician button. Okay. We've got somebody who's good. The best we've got is good. Therefore, we say I don't care. Because we already have good. So, a court physician might as well be that guy. Uh, was there anything else they were doing? They were a caravan master, right? It was time to test. If I put in a caravan master while we're traveling... Uh, can I put in a caravan master while we're... Is it not even an option? Am I going crazy? Caravan master. Caravan master. It's here. There we go. I was going crazy. So if I put her in, I believe that that won't actually apply caravan master to her travel. Oh, is Marwa still her caravan master for this one? I think she is. Oh, so she stays caravan master for the whole travel. That's good. Like, she only technically leaves at the end. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to grab Chivalric Dominance, get ourselves some extra uh, Knight Effectiveness there. Which puts our Knight Effectiveness to a solid 253, which is quite nice. Our son can marry. Um, well, you could marry our niece in Mord uh, Vinia. That would be reasonable. Yeah, you know what? There's no reason for him to be in our court. He's not good enough to be in our court. But you could definitely go marry our niece who lives off in that other land. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Like our niece who lives here. That seems sensible to me. Alliances are formed. Lovely. So we now have an alliance with her. What we like to see. Right. Carrying on. Our friendship was not meant to be. No. No. What do you mean our friendship was not meant to be? I have now decided I'm looking for a genius. A genius with a high stat of some kind. How about you? You're pretty young and you're a ge oh, you're already you're married to a ruler. You're in my court. <laughs> uh You seem 
Well, yeah, they, they have to kind of not be married if they're a woman, because every other court doesn't allow that. You seem fine. Would you accept an invite to our court? You would with a befriend. Let's befriend them. 100% chance we will befriend them. Wonderful. Uh, we can pardon this person. What did you do? Some murdering? Yeah, you know what? I'll do a little bit of pardoning here. That's fine. Convert faith in county. Hey, your stress is now down to normal levels. Convert f uh, faith in county is done. So now we're after this Tengri land over here. We'll just choose one and convert it. Right. How's our culture doing? Uh, I don't know, but Russo Khazar has spread quite a lot, hasn't it? Look at that. That is definitely spreading. Interesting. Anyway. No longer overwhelmed by stress. You'll have to see it. Carry on. Oh, we're in here. Uh, I'm not going to play a board game with you because I don't want to give you a hook. We never want to give people hooks. In the eye of the beholder, the diplomatic skills of Bule never ceased to amaze me. He could inform the high shaman that his underpants were showing while still being awarded some piece of gold, a smile, and a thank you. I simply must have him at my court. I don't think he's that good. This is silly. Right. Somebody's trying to kill me. And now they're not. Good. That's the way I like to see things. This is the person who was trying to kill me. Why were you trying to kill me? What possible? Oh, you're my rival, I see. Is your land land that you're meant to hold? Kinda, yeah. Are you, you are a member of my dynasty. I mean, I would kind of just like it if you just didn't try. I mean, you're not really that good. I'll let them live. I'm not that worried about it. You know what? The ultimate uh, high road move. We'll just uh, pardon them. To send through a little... Yeah, we know you tried to kill us, but, you know. We don't think you're actually going to succeed. Right, we got yet another hook, which we can now get money off of. We have a, a granddaughter named Kraka. So what we could do here... See, if we name after in, uh, Ancestor, you tend to get some of the same ones. But we could we could mix it up. You could also say a good late Norse name, and then you end up with all sorts of things. So how about Alvor? That's going to be your name now. There you go. I mixed it up a little bit for you. Um, but yeah, essentially it's just the grandparent naming thing. Naturally, just uh, if you have a lot of people in your family named that, more people will be named that. Give me your money. He said no. I will pardon you for your actions. Carrying on. My neighbor has lost in an independence war. Oh, but not very much land became independent. Oh, maybe this bit became independent. I don't know. It is a duchy. It might have just become independent. Interesting. Anyway. Making our way back over here. Do you want to go on a drinking binge? Nah, I don't want to die. That's fine. Thank you. Appreciate the offer. Grand tour has concluded. And we got some renown. And our level of fame has gone up to a legendary figure. So we get more knights, more secular opinion. Great stuff. This person's trying to become friends with me. I'm not that interested. Right. Um, we can demand a payment, which I think I will do here as well. Cool. So we'll demand 41 gold. And now we have a pile of money. Wonderful. Should we do some building? I think we should do some building. Let me just have a look here. I'm just seeing that every, all of the forestry stuff is done. Can you do forestry here? You can. Perfect. Let's do that first. Yeah. And when that one finishes, we can do another one on that one, and then we can build in all of them. So that'd be good. My martial king, Porther, hands me my favorite sword. It is sharpened and polished, so I see a fraction of my own visage within it. You should carry this for your own sake. Desert or dissenters scurry through your court like diseased rats, and each time we attend a public function, I wonder if it is our last. He stares out the window. Perhaps we ought to increase the guard patrols. There's a sickly taste to this morning's air, and I am afraid. Uh, so we can say it's paranoia. Add more patrols. You know something? Or uh, let's fill the castle of guards. I'm going to ask him if he knows something. We're able to find out his suspicions, so. 
You're in immediate peril, my lady. Uh, my, my lady. I feel nothing but shame as I scribe these words. Hi, Shaman. Erdzivil has spent months bribing your guards. He plans to station attack on your life in front of the court. I wish for your life to be spared, but, try as I may, I cannot stop my heart from bleeding for the cause of the Independence faction. If dashed into exile, we shall not meet again, says my husband. Wait, no, no wait, this isn't my husband. This is my marshal. Why did I think it was my husband? They look nothing alike. Oh, my, just my marshal. I thought it was my marshal and husband for some reason. Uh, I don't know why he's run away, though. That's fine. Which independence faction is it? The one with one member in it? Wait, the Ukonusko High Council won't free of me? That just seems a bit rude, really. So I say I can trust some of my closest champions to guard me. Or I can defend myself. I can defend myself. Yeah, let's do it. Right, can I assign that person once again? Yeah, I can just put him immediately back in as our marshal. Alright, sure. Whatever. Is there actually an illness here? Nope, our nephew just fell ill wherever he happens to be. Child of my dynasty. Yeah, I don't think we've seen that, that name before, so we'll keep it. Okay. Um, what do we want to do to make this person like us? To be mightily impressed by my uh, feats, focus on her, uh, on her accomplishments, or make sure everyone hears about my greatness. Let's focus on her accomplishments because progress is going to make this bar go quicker. There we go. My husband is dead. Oh, he may not have been the one who we were speaking to, but he is the dead one. Developmental champion needs a new heir. Uh, we can get Pilksov here. Sure, 15's not that bad. Uh, I'll recruit you for now. That's okay. Oh, and then need to go and say, yeah, and Andy's a champion. Uh, yeah. There we go. And we need to remarry. This is our second husband, third husband, third, third husband. There we go. So, um... We're basically just looking for someone with high stewardship. Is there someone with high stewardship around? Who is not a ruler? There we go. This beautiful guy here. Yeah, he'll do. I choose this guy. See how that goes. Wonderful. And now he's able to help out with the realm. That's what we love to see. Okay. Your neighbor has lost in a holy war. Okay, and we can pardon some criminals for attempted elopement. You are pardoned. Fantastic. Right, I can challenge you to a trial by combat because you declared war on me. I could, if I'm victorious, I gain money. Trial by combat for money. Let's do it. Let's earn ourselves some money. Right. Okay, let's go. So, choose Strike, Pyre, Repost. We get high, medium, and it lowers our, our stress. Okay, so ours was good with small errors. His is incredible, so we got a worse roll on the first one. Ah, uh, this is not good. We're going to play defensively. My form is excellent. His is incredible. I'll mock his level of fame. My form is excellent, his is formidable. We can now just throw money at his face. Let's do it. We won. We, we, we won by throwing money at his face. We're incredible at this. Okay. Thank you for 75 gold. I very much appreciate it. Hey, we are now friends with Dorothea. We will invite her to our court. So we have yet another genius in our court. We'll now demand that she converts. She will not. I will then send her a gift. And then demand that she converts. We're at 50%. Okay. She converted. You'll love to see it. Now, can she marry somebody? Yes. I don't know why it's not showing up there. Maybe if I close it and reopen it, it would show up properly. There we go. I mean, find her somebody to marry. Is there a genius available to marry the genius? 
Yes, there is Gregor's. You seem good. Yeah. Let's get Gregor's to marry her, which then gives us a, a guaranteed genius on the child. Wonderful. And then, Gregor's, you're going to really want to convert to my religion. Let's send you a little gift here. Let's then say, hey, Gregor's, convert. Okay, he's converted. Wonderful. Wait, I'm at war? Oh, and this is the Northman army attacked, and we could uh, trial, challenge to a trial by combat. I hadn't fully comprehended that the Northman army had attacked, and therefore we can do a trial by combat. I thought there was a previous one, and the guy had earned some money somehow, but no, no, he's actively attacking us. Interesting. Did we inherit some land or something at some point? Hmm. Or do you hold something? Like, it looks like Pomerania is against us. So how are you in this one? You're an ally. Oh. The Duchy of Turov. Well, there's their troops. Okay, well, that looks like free money. Let's raise our troops somewhere like here. Raise all. Uh, we will lead. And I think I'm actually going to have to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.